It's that time of year again. It is time once again. Time to look at everything I collected in the last year. Maybe have a small existential crisis, but ultimately commit to buying even more in the future. So, um, as you just saw, we have a lot of binders to go through today, and I want this to be a little bit snappier than last year's. I did the math and last year I had three binders and my wife had two. This year I have seven and she now has five. So in the interest of time and just getting this done as quickly as possible for me, I'm just going to jump right into it. And since it's a new year, I'm going to change up the order a little bit. We'll see if I do this for my usual photo card storing, but uh, at least for this video we're going to start with the the most eclectic binder which is my my now my girl groups binder this binder i had last year but it had just luna in it and now it has a few groups it has starting off we have artemis there's also ive and espa and some wjsn in here but to start off as i said we have artemis as you'll see with my Luna binder in a few minutes, I am a Kim Lip collector. I have all of her cards from the most recent album version up, as well as some pre-order cards from that same album. I also have uh, this Heejin card from her solo release algorithm, and one of the things I'm going to try to do this year is get the rest of her, her album cards. I just thought they looked so great that I kind of want to have a whole whole page of just her her album cards and then we move on into Espa this is one of my newer collections I'm collecting only album cards and I'm still missing quite a few from pretty much all the albums Savage Girls but my goal is to get this caught up in the next like the first half of the year hopefully we'll see um, I think they're going to be busy this year, so that might be tricky to stay totally caught up, but I'll do my best. And then I do have a couple pre-order cards just from buying albums. Um, and then I have a couple random other ESPA members, Karina and Winter, from the Girls Digipack. Next we have Ive. I collect Eugen. And similar to Ning Ning, I'm not caught up yet, but I, I am doing pretty good. I'm all the way caught up through Afterlike. And then I just have a couple I've I've cards and no I've mine. Again, like I said, my my goal is to hopefully get at least caught up through what came out last year pretty soon. But it's a fairly low priority collection. Then we have WJSN and specifically WJSN the Black. I did start collecting WJSN in 2022. My bias is Sola, so I was originally focused on collecting her stuff, but with them being really inactive for like the last 18 months, I really haven't had a huge amount of, I don't know, enthusiasm for collecting all of her, her older cards. So instead, I kind of focus this year on getting the full group cards for the WJSN the Black unit album. I would also like to hopefully finish this in the the next year. It really just depends on availability, uh, especially the solo cards. There's just the the trading scene is not that great for WJSN right now. And then as for Sola's solo album, I'm still undecided, but I, I may I may collect that. We'll see. And then the last few things are just some Luna stuff that didn't fit in the binder I'll be doing next. So to start off, we have these plastic tickets. These were for various concert events. Um, we have Meetin' Up, Hash Showcase, Midnight Festival, and then new from last time I did this, or at least when I did this in January, was I got this Luna Birth debut concert ticket with the Odd Eye Circle Girls. There's still a couple more that I want to get with the, specifically the Odd Eye unit, but again, they're a little hard to find. These are two photo pre-order benefits from, I believe, With Drama. I got the full set for all 12 Luna members last year. That was a little collecting project I had. 
these were inclusions in the Midnight Festival, or not, they say Midnight Festival, but it's the Midnight Album. And then a couple other random things, a photo strip and a mini postcard. So yeah, so that is the Girl Group Spinder. Next, as I said, I think I'll just jump right into Luna since it's related to Artemis. And you can see my fancy new binder that I just set up, oh, a few months ago. So this is my, the entirety, except for those few bigger items, the entirety of my Luna photo card collection. Like I said before, I am a Kim Lip collector. I do have a few other members like Jin Soul. She's probably my second favorite in the group. We're going to get into album cards, but these are just these uh, Luna Studio Polaroids from their like full group debut era. And then we have the pre-debut solo stuff and the original Odd Eye Circle cards. I don't have any of the limited cards just because they are both expensive and hard to find. And then we move into the full group era. The only card I am, the only cards I am missing are the two XX butterfly cards. And that is like probably my top priority for Luna this year. I would love to just have this all the album cards done because last year I spent no small amount of time getting the rest of my my backlog filled out and then we have the Japanese cards I have all six for their two albums and then we move into things that aren't album cards. Most of these, uh, at least in the beginning, are concert related. So we have Meet and Up. We have the Hash Showcase. The Midnight Festival. This is a 11 member set with a group card. This is something I'll be working on filling out this year. I only have, what, five members? Yeah. So quite a bit of work left to be done. And then we have the Luniverse From set and their world tour I got all the members for the world tour these are the trading cards from their world tour show in Korea with a couple of members on the back these are a few additional concert or concert photo book cards then we have a few seasons greetings some fan club cards Merch, Pobs, and then a few other members that I pulled in albums. And same here. These are just some flip that cards. As far as what my goals are for Luna this year, as you saw, I do have some gaps. If there is a gap, it probably means there's a card that I'm wanting to put in that spot. Ultimately, I do have like a wish list up on my Instagram and it'd be great if I could finish it in the coming year. But again, it really just depends on availability of the the cards and that they're, you know, not stupid expensive. So, yeah, so that is my Luna collection. Next, we have Twice, specifically Momo. Momo is the person that I collect in Twice. She is my first k-pop bias and twice was the first group that got me into k-pop uh, unlike my other binders i actually have this arranged in reverse chronological so the most recent is in the front and i will say i am missing quite a few album cards i don't tend to get every album card for any person i collect and that is perhaps doubly true for momo just because there are so many twice cards but even with my my shortened list I'm still missing quite a bit specifically in the feel special era as you'll see I think I have like one card yeah this is the only feel special card I have so should definitely prioritize that moving forward
Okay, and that is it for her Korean album cards. This next section is, it's a mix of things. These are all album cards or album related. So to start off, we have some of her Misamo cards. This is something that I'll be working on this year, but it probably won't be done by the end of the year. They're just too hard, too hard to get, too expensive. Then we have, these are some lucky draws and some pre-order cards. A few additional members that I either pulled or got in sets that I bought. And then a couple Chihyo Zone album cards. I wouldn't mind having a few more of these, at least enough to fill out a page. Then we have a couple bigger items from albums. So these are the business cards. Uh, Cheung is here because that's who I pulled in my album, and then I got the Momo separately. Same with this. Uh, I pulled Sana, and I went and found the Momo for these little Polaroids from Between 1 and 2. Her Lenti from Taste of Love. A couple bookmark-sized items. This is from their showcase for Misamo, and this is a Target exclusive for Taste of Love. And then the rest of this is stuff that's not related to an album at all. So we have a Season's Greetings that I bought. We have a few fan meet, a couple fan meet. I think this is Once Halloween and some light stick cards. Another fan meet card. These are Lucky Draws from their anniversary pop-up shop in Seoul. I happened to be there when uh, this was going on, so I went and grabbed some Lucky Draws. This is also from their anniversary. It's like a ticket. And then some stickers from one of their Japanese pop-up shops. As far as my goals this, this year for Momo, uh, one of the big ones is I'd really like to move her into the same kind of binder you just saw for Luna. A nice wide A5 with some nice pockets. I think that would just allow me a little more room since she does have so many album cards and there's sure to be more in the future. They've got an album coming out and this binder is pretty well, it's pretty full if you can't tell. And then really just work on the backlog. Like I said earlier, I'm missing a lot of Feel Special. There's a few other album cards I don't have. Um, so I probably should make Momo a bit more of a priority just so I can finish it out. But by and large, uh, it's in a pretty good spot. I did, I feel like I did a really good job of, of catching up in the last like year, year and some change to, to really fill this out. So, okay, now for perhaps my biggest collection, Sulgi. So Sulgi, who is the person I collect in Red Velvet, is definitely my biggest collection. It's so big it needs two binders. So this is the first binder and it is only album cards and album related stuff. So at this point, I pretty much have everything I want from my backlog. There's only one Kino card, which there's not really a slot for in this binder, but there's only one Kino card from an older album that I don't have. Otherwise, I have basically all the Sulgi album cards with the exception, the additional exception of their their brand new album, Chill Kill, which I have most of. I'm just missing a couple cards. I also have her cards from the Irene and Sulgi unit. And of course her solo album. We have the SMCU Winter Albums and the Got the Beat Stamp on It album, as well as her Japanese album cards. Then I just have a handful of larger items, at least in this binder. So this is from the Finale album, Got the Beat. This is also from the Finale album, and this is from Queendom. 
then I do also try to collect a few full member sets. I did have a goal of trying to get a couple more of these. I am limited by whether or not I can get an Irene card, so unless I can find an Irene for a good price, I don't typically start any of these sets. But I think I have like five or six right now, so we have Ice Cream Cake and The Velvet, Russian Roulette, Rookie, and one of the Red Summers. I would like to get the other Red Summer as well as maybe like the Perfect Velvet, Peekaboo set, and maybe some uh, Reva Festival finale cards. I also started collecting both Wendy and Joy's solo albums. I'm mostly complete with Wendy. I'm still missing a couple album cards, but I did manage to finish Joy. Looking forward to Wendy's new release in the next few months. I also have a few of Joy's Polaroids from her album, as well as a an Irene from Queendom, a couple Wendy bookmark items from albums, and the remainder of those receipts from Breva Festival Finale. A couple postcards for Wendy's solo album, and a few random like Irene and Sulgi postcards. So, like I said, I did pretty good on the album card collections. I even managed to get a Glitter Tears, if you, you did see that. Um, and talking to my friend, it looks to her like it's legit. So that was something I was hoping to get this past year, but really didn't expect to, but actually did manage to kind of fill out this collection. I would like to complete Wendy's album cards, her, her solo album cards this year, maybe even her new album when that comes out. I also want to move this, much like my Momo collection, to a, a wide A5 binder. I just think that would look really good. I'm really happy with how my Luna binder came out, so I'd really like to do that for my other main collections. But yeah, not a huge, not a huge amount of work to be done with the, the album card collection. Now the other portion is this binder, which is my everything that's not an album card, uh, merch, pobs, what have you. So there's not a huge amount of organization in this, I'll, I'll be honest, but um, it is mostly Solgi. We have some season's greetings. And then hollow cards, which is definitely something I want to work more on filling out. I'm missing quite a few, especially from older eras. And then we have pobs. I don't collect every pob, but there is still some stuff, especially for birthday. And now, of course, chill kill. I kind of don't think I'll be able to get everything I want for chill kill, just because they've released so much. But I'll do my best. Um, no real timeline on that. Then we have some merch, some anniversary cards, pink Christmas, her birthday, trading cards. These next couple items are related to concerts or fan meets. So these are both for their seventh anniversary around the Queendom era. And then these are both for R to V. And these are a few of my favorite things. So just to explain, these are photo prints. You had to get them in Japan at a, like a family mart. There might, maybe a Lawson's, um, but definitely a convenience store. And these are all related to their Japanese shows for RTV. So I have pretty much every card that has Solgi, Solos, Units, Full Group. Very cool. They're very pretty. I love them. A um, couple Polaroids for Seasons Greetings. Merch. This is technically an album item. I just... This is for birthday. Probably shouldn't be here. 
um, Russian roulette merch, R to V. Uh, here's a full group set for one of their season's greetings, as well as trading cards for birthday and their actual birthday cards that SM released this year. So that is my not an album card collection for Sogi and Red Velvet. Mostly, I just kind of want to fill out a few of these categories like Seasons Greetings, I'm Missing Some Old Stuff, and as I said, some pobs and hollow cards. Um, it's really just hard to say how quickly this will grow just because those things are really dependent on people listing them and listing them for a good price. So I also probably need a new binder. This binder is not very, very good. It's just like really flimsy. So, okay. I have one more photo card binder and then I have a binder of big stuff, which is brand new. So this binder is just sort of everything else. This is, this is also, <laughs> This is also my original photo card binder. My whole collection used to live in this one little flimsy diary binder. What a world that was. But to start off, we have Yukika, who I should say was a soloist. She made like city pop style music, if you've never listened to her. She only had three albums. The first one didn't have photo cards. The second one, Time About, did, had two sets, as well as these little photo film slides and now she just released her third and final album time lapse which i will be working to collect in this calendar year i already have one of the cards it's just i have to get the remaining two and this is an inclusion from her first album soul lady this next section is just a grab bag of wjsn cards as I said before, I started collecting Sola in 2022, but I didn't really get that far. About the furthest I got was I'm pretty much caught up with the last album sequence. I'm just missing like a single unit card. And then I just have a few like additional cards like this is related to WJS and the Black. A few members I pulled. A few larger items. So, we'll see what happens with this in the coming year. And then finally, we have basically everyone else. Anyone else that I happen to pull in an album lives here. So we have Sinbi from G Friend and the Walpurgis Night album, Sakura from La Seraphim and the Unforgiven album, Ray from Ive and their special Ive Ive album, Taeyeon from the SM Palace Winter Album, EXID from, I believe this is the Eclipse Album, Beckyon, actually I actually don't own Beckyon albums, but uh, I bought this because he has the Nintendo controller and I want to get the other one, but these are, when I have both, they'll both be from the City Lights Album. And then my small little Triple S collection with uh, Da Hyun, who is my, my favorite in that I shouldn't say little, it's an increasingly large uh, little K-pop group. And then Monday and Soon from Weekly. And that is it for the, the everyone else. Now for something completely new. It's this guy, this guy right here. This is honestly something I probably should have done a while back, which is to take all of my big items out of the various A5 binders I have and put them in something much larger that can accommodate them. So this is my larger inclusions binder, which will have stuff that even if you are a regular viewer, there are things in here you haven't seen because they've basically lived in boxes. I can't say there's like a real order um, because I have a couple different size pages, so we're going to like repeat through some people. But we do have Sulgi and some Seasons Greeting stuff. This is for their seventh anniversary. We have hollow card standees and postcards. 
and postcards from a few postcard books they've put out in the last year. I also decided to keep a couple Irene's that I really liked. And I have a random Wendy postcard from the ice cream cake era. Then I have some Kim Lip postcards. These are from Flip That Era. So we have A version, B version, C version, and D version. And like I said, now we're gonna go back to Solgi because these are more like four by six, I think is the size, three by five. Uh, I think it's four by six. So these are for their fourth anniversary. This is from their Japanese album Bloom, and this is Joy from their winter album. Some smaller Kim Lip postcards. Some Momo postcards. I think these all came from albums. And then some stuff that, like this Sana came from an album, but this is from their Twice Lights concert. And this, I should really pull out and show you because it's not just one postcard. It's this, it's like an accordion. So there's actually several images here. And there's some on the back too. Really hard to display this fully, so I just I just keep it folded up and, and in here. Which is better than than sitting in my little like miscellaneous box. These are all from A Season's Greetings. So I have every, oops, I have every member, except Chongyun, who didn't participate this year. So there's a group instead. And it's tough because I do them double-sided, but they all have messages on the back. These are from their seventh anniversary pop-up shop. As I said, I was there, so I grabbed these. And then finally, we have some Yukika items. I think finally, yeah, this is the last thing. So these photos are from her Soul Lady album. There's, I think nine total and I have four. So I might work on getting those. And then these were pre-order postcards from her Time About album and I have everything. So I'm actually a huge fan of big items. So I would love for this collection to grow even larger in the future. Um, I just don't know how much of a priority I'll make it, honestly. But yeah, so that is, for all intents and purposes, my complete photo card collection. All right, now we're going to move into my collection. Um, first, I'm going to actually start with my key solo binder. Um, this is probably the most recent binder anyone's seen on this channel. Um, not much has changed, so I just figured I'd do a quick flip through of this to start. So we just have solo album cards in the first part here. Not Still not made much progress since last time, but you know, we're working on it. I think the about the only thing I have made any progress on is coming up here is I did get a couple of additional good and great cards up here. But other than that, album cards kind of where I left off. Goal kind of for the year is to hopefully to catch up. Hopefully he takes a bit of a break from solo work so I can do that. Um, and then another quick update. I think I mentioned I don't collect full pops for solo or pretty much anything. Um, I just kind of collect three per era. So got some here for um, Gasoline and Killer and a couple for Good and Great. Then we move into all the kind of character cards. I'm still missing one set, but you know, I'll get it someday. Then all the QR type cards. And then one thing I did do since last time is I moved my key solo merch cards into the solo binder. Um, so we have my hollow cards and then my little small page of um, merch cards related to the albums. Um, I am planning to just continue with any hollow cards that come out this next year and same with merch. I just buy what I feel like I like merch wise or card wise and kind of go from there. So just just a kind of quick update on my key solo binder. Um, now let's go to my regular key shiny binder. All right. 
So since I've last shown this, I've actually made uh, quite a bit of kind of changes to it. Um, one thing that might be a little uncommon is I went and mixed all my shiny key Korean and Japanese cards in chronological order. Um, so we kind of just jump around between all the Korean and Japanese cards, but I think it kind of makes for a slightly more interesting layout. You know, everyone's very much into the keeping Korean and Japanese cards separate, but I'm noticing more and more people um, don't differentiate between them anymore. So figured I'd try it out and I kind of like it. So as you can see, I've made some pretty decent progress this year. You know, I only have actually two Japanese cards left. So my goal is to hopefully finish that before they do any sort of other um, Japanese comeback in the future. And then just slowly working through the Korean cards. Um, let's see what else. Hopefully stay up to date. I only have one hard card left to get, so not too bad there. Um, the next section here, I'm moving on um, kind of to pre-order fan sign kind of cards. Um, I ended up collecting a decent amount for hard just because they, in the end, they ended up being fairly available. I don't know if I'll continue doing this in the future, but I had kind of just decided it since it's kind of their first era really with true kind of pop type stuff. Everything else it's always just been a random fan sign here or there. Um, next into the hollow cards for group um, activities and then I did go through and kind of decided to go with white sleeves and double side all my merch cards. Um, if you're a someone who collects SM groups you know a lot of their merch cards are just white backs with gray text, nothing exciting. So I kind of just decided to um, make it a little cleaner. Again, same with that, just kind of pick up any sort of merch stuff I'm interested in, no real goals there. Next is my um, season's greetings cards. So for this, I only collect um, cards that come in the actual season's greetings or the season's greetings packs that SM has started doing since like 2021. I don't collect any pobs and if a year just doesn't come with anything, it just doesn't come with anything. So I'm doing pretty good on that. I just have like one older card that I am still looking for. Um, and obviously I will get this year's season's greetings, but since it was delayed, none of that even comes out till February. So but otherwise up to date on that. I think I made a lot of progress this year in this set, but um, kind of closing this up, we will move on to just my shiny binder. All right. Um, this is another binder where not much has really changed since last year. Um, so for shiny, I just sort of, I have a couple of group sets that I have um, started to collect. I have this odd version A set and this married to the music set. Honestly, it's kind of hard to collect full group sets for shiny. So after these two, I probably won't collect anymore, even though there are a couple I would like. Um, it's just, it's pretty difficult to get the cards. And then back here, um, just all my album pulls um, that I just haven't traded or sold and I've just decided to keep. Not much change here. And then a little tiny mini pop page of other stuff I got for hard. Um, moving into here is my um, shiny solos. As you can see, I still have not updated my cover, even though I think last time I was like, oh, I need to update this to add Minho. It's been a year, I have not. So for shiny solo albums, I basically buy one album and keep the card I pull. Um, so here are all the Onu cards. Um, one exception is I did decide to collect these kind of Uno cards from Dice, and I actually did complete that, so that's, I think, the only goal from last year I finished. <laughs> um, then Jonghyun cards. Um, I have two Minhos, because why not? And then all my Temen cards. And I have to add a new page now for Guilty, so that's exciting. 
and then Temin's all other his random inclusions that come with everything. Oh, my random. Yeah. That's not Joel, but yeah. All right, and that's kind of that binder. And then we will move on to my Rise collection and, well, more key, because that's really all my collection is, is mostly key cards. So this is my new um, Rise binder. Um, so first off, I this year I started collecting Shotaro from Rise. Um, obviously they've really only had one physical release everything else has been digital so far and i have the album cards the japanese cards and a pob i originally was going to collect the u.s cards we'll see i can't seem to find anyone who wants to sell them now that especially now that instagram is such a mess for now i had all these cute little hollow star sleeves so just certain star sleeves and then if anyone watched the un the sad unboxing where <laughs> <laughs> I bought the holo card that didn't come with the holo card. Here's the lovely postcard <laughs> as a consolation. Um, but that's it for Rise for now. So I'm just going to continue collecting album cards. I'm not planning to do pobs or anything like that. I mean, they already have like 100 cards and they're not even a year old. So that's unrealistic. Um, next is kind of my miscellaneous. No change here. Still have Super M and then some... Um, XOSC and NCTU cards. That kind of wraps up the other people I collect and we'll just kind of go move on to um, other key items. These are odd size random inclusions um, or just larger inclusions. Um, so some four pocket sizes, some smaller postcards or images from solo and group albums. I did spend some time going through and adding in some white paper between to make it look a little cleaner. So I think that turned out really well. Um, shout out to Wanaid Carolyn's for the idea for that. Then AR tickets. Unfortunately, they seem to have stopped doing AR tickets. So I guess I'm done collecting those. <laughs> um, yeah, some of the more season's greetings and other postcards that come with just random merch items and that's kind of the end of this binder one final binder left um, so this one is actually my one large binder this is actually all my a5 postcards I've actually had a lot of these for a long time I just didn't know what to do with them and once I discovered there were some binder pages that are basically the exact side of, of these postcards um, I kind of moved everything over to this large standard binder size. Um, so uh, SM puts out a lot of postcard books and I tend to get them at least when related to like concerts or fan meetings. I don't really collect the ones related to comebacks because the images are so similar. But otherwise, I just really like how great these all look. this year this is just chronological order and then a few album cards and we'll just end with these lovely beautiful Minho postcards all right everyone thank you for watching if you made it this far I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing the progress my wife and I have made in the last year I know because we have so much now that I wasn't as thorough with pointing out what stuff was this time, but if you do have any questions about any items you saw that maybe we didn't explain what they were, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to let you know exactly what that item was. But yeah, lots of collecting to do in 2024, so Happy New Year everyone, happy collecting, and I'll see you in the next video. So long!